Welcome to the 21st and final stage of this Tour de France. You see Fiat La Vie Claire starting to gear up for the final sprint in 22 kilometers time, racing along the Champs Elysees, so one more lap to go around this circuit. To brief you on the overall Bellator team standings, La Vie Claire retook the lead yesterday and now have a 46 point advantage over Bianchi Campagnolo, and that could swing in either direction depending on the result of this stage as well as the final points to be scored in the general classification and the other classifications. So a lot at stake. The final champion of the Bellator to be decided on the last day of the last race of the season. Heading around the Arc de Triomphe. Big circular turn and we're going to race back down the Champs-Élysées. We'll go under the bridge one more time at the other side and then head in towards the finish. There's Andre Darga to Bobby Claire, and they need him to win this stage because Stan Ocker is on the verge of scoring a lot of points for winning the Tour de France. So they really need Daragod to score that 175 points and give Lavi Claire a chance. Zulu Kingdom present and correct, they have Demolding Abdu Japarov, who has sealed the green jersey thanks to the results of the earlier intermediate sprint, so mathematically impossible for him to lose that now. Some riders from Kelme and Ceramigas mixing it up as well. Just under 11 k's to go, heading back towards the tunnel. A very tense sprint to come. But Stan Ockers, unless something very dramatic happens in the last few kilometers, should win the Tour de France. So here we go down the Champs Elysees, we'll turn left down into the tunnel, and that will set us into the finishing straight. Bianchi Campagnolo moving riders up. What if Leark Guerra could spoil the party for La Vie Claire? Blackberry there as well with Julian Alphilippe. It's a long straight sprint to the finish. Very common for riders to just go too early on the Champs Elysees, but a very prestigious win through the first across the line. Under 5 kilometers to go, it's La Vie Claire setting the tempo. They want to control this race, set things up as best they can for Andre Dargod, and they're already starting to lead out. A bit early for that, Dmitry Konishev in the wheel of Dargod. Here comes the Fiat train for Urs Foiler. Demolinian Ajajaparov is there. Still two k's to go, so they've gone way too early, but they're gonna go for it. Andre Dargaud launches from a kilometer out. He's got Foiler on his wheel, but watch the Bianchi rider. Liarco Guerra timed it to perfection. And he's gonna steal it away from Andre Dargaud on the Champs Elysees. And that should seal the title for Bianchi Campagnolo. They've stolen the victory away from La Vie Claire, and that should confirm Spencer and his team of Bianchi Campagnola as the winners of Bellator Season 3. And they will take that along with their yellow jersey because Stan Ockers finishing in the main peloton, he will win the Tour de France. So what a dramatic finale to this Bellator Season 3, and La Vie Claire, they went way too early, and although Daragod was very strong, he simply ran out of gas, and Leonardo Guerra timed it to perfection. He followed La Vie Claire's lead-out train, judging the sprint perfectly. And Guerra's first win of the season could not have been more important, securing the win for Bianchi Campagnolo. Dargod in second place, Urs Foiler another third place, Dmitry Konishev is Ceramikas is fourth, Jamaluddin Abdujaparov gets fifth place, Matteo Trenton sixth, Adriana Baffi in seventh. There is your final GC, Stan Ockers, your winner of the Tour de France. Andy Schleck will be second place, Bjorn Aris rounding out the podium in third. Goes to Peterson fourth, Jan Oric fifth for your top five. But no changes today, except for the small time bonuses gained by the sprinters. For such a challenging route, the time gap's a little bit closer than expected. And although Stan Ockers had the lead since stage 10, he was never entirely too comfortable, especially once Andy Schleck got rolling in the second week of the race. At Magnus Baxa at Fiat, winning the Lanterne Rouge, the worst rider of the Tour de France. Jamaldine Abdujaparov wins the green jersey ahead of Andre Dargaud. He held that jersey for close to two weeks. Gary Antonisa, also of Zulu Kingdom, winning the polka dot jersey as the king of the mountains. And in team competition, Ceramigas wins that as well. So that does it for the Tour de France in Season 3 of the Velotour. We'll have the final points scored up and one more update video just to wrap up the entire season. 
Thank you for watching and following, and thanks to the players for being part of the draft. We'll see you next time.